Hello and welcome. Today we've got something up there for you. So sit down, take a look, and enjoy. Hello and welcome to another comic 101 class. Today, it's all about Secret Invasion. Oh yes. Finally, we're going to discuss the story arc that left most of us speechless during the summer. So sit down, stick around, and enjoy. So Secret Invasion is a eight part miniseries, as you can see here. Eight beautiful parts, which were written and created by Marvel Comics. Um, what happens in the Secret Invasion story? Um, this could be a very, gen very uh, condensed version of it because it's a pretty long storyline. Uh, pretty much what it is is that back in uh, New Avengers number one in 2004, we started getting little hints from that point on that there was something big happening in the Marvel Universe. Um, so that's five years ago. Five years ago, you know, back in 2004, already they were planning this Secret Invasion storyline. Which, pretty much what it is, it's the Skrulls, which are shapeshifters from another world, decide, you know, to come down to Earth and start invading from the inside out, start invading through the superheroes, and then pretty much taking over the world, is what it is. It's kind of an alien invasion. It's kind of the premise of it. Um, what it is, it's um, there's a queen, Queen Vernaki, who actually will take the identity of uh, Spider Woman, and then she kind of infiltrates in uh, the Avengers, infiltrates on Tony Stark's side, uh, Iron Man, and then everything basically slowly and surely goes to hell. Uh, we are reminded during the times that the Skrull are actually invading and taking over to embrace change. And uh, which is the whole thing about living with Skrulls and whatnot. And kind of a cool thing that Marvel did during the times of embracing change is they had, you know, these full color ads in there of different things where the Skrulls were either, you know, kid Skrulls playing with human kids or eating ice cream or playing baseball, you know. Really neat uh, little publicity by Marvel that, that they did there in order, you know, to for all of us to hopefully embrace change as change was coming. Um, what initiates the whole secret invasion story is that Elektra is actually killed in the, in the Avengers comic book. And when she's killed, she turns into a scroll. So all the heroes and everybody knows that when an individual dies who's shape-shifted like a scroll they'll revert back to scrawl form. So we see that uh, Elektra's dead and she reverts back to a scrawl. And that's when the heroes start asking themselves, well, who else is a scrawl? Who's a scrawl? And that's pretty much the whole premise of Secret Invasion when you're in there. It's who's a scrawl and who ain't a scrawl. Um, it's a pretty neat, neatly concepted, neatly written story. Um, some of the notable people in there who were actually scrawls Spider Woman was a Skrull, uh, Invisible Woman was a Skrull, uh, Henry Pym was a Skrull, Black Bolt was a Skrull, um, Delectra was a Skrull. It's kind of neat because the way they did it is they actually still have all the real superheroes, you know, kind of uh, locked away on the ship, and then they get reintegrated again into, uh, into, into the society. Even Captain Marvel, who was thought to be dead, came back as a scroll, and uh, never really clued into the people that this guy was back from the dead and that he might be a scroll. although I mean through the years we've seen Marvel bring out a lot of characters so who knows um, the story itself goes on as they start to try to take over eventually they're found you know we dare we learn how to detect them and whatnot and um, a long battle ensues in the end the new Avengers and the Avengers all everybody joins forces together the Thunderbolts, everybody, in order to try to stop the Skrull invasion. Um, and we hadn't seen everybody get together since uh, since Civil War, because Civil War divided everybody up with the Mutant Registration Act, or Superhero Registration Act. 
And so finally we're seeing all these teams get back together and fight together. Um, in the end, Iron Man is uh, actually not even a factor in the, in this fight. And as he is in the Marvel Universe, the number one guy, uh, Iron Man pretty much ran S.H.I.E.L.D. and ran the Avengers and all this stuff. Uh, he wasn't really a factor in the fight at all because his systems, his armor was attacked right away by a virus. So he was out of it. Um, which leads the opening for a new hero to be born in this whole invasion thing, in this whole fight. Um, the unlikely hero, which I'll explain a little later, it's kind of cool. Um, so pretty much there's a big fight going on, everybody's fighting. In the end, I, the, the main casualty, um, Wasp, uh, she dies uh, in, the last, uh, in the last issue of uh, Secret Invasion. That's kind of, you know, kind of a big deal. Um, when we learn that Spider-Woman is actually the main scroll, the Queen scroll, Queen Vernacki, um, she is actually assassinated or killed in the battlefield, and all the cameras are on this individual who kills her, and this is kind of the ironic thing. Everybody's looking at this, and right before one of the Avengers goes to take the shot, this individual takes the shot. And the individual that takes the shot is none other than Norman Osborn. Yes, you heard it right, Norman Osborn. The same Norman Osborn that first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man. Number 37, this guy here. The same guy who became the Green Goblin. The current leader of the Thunderbolts, or the current guy in command of the Thunderbolts. He puts the bullet into the Skrull Queen. So he is seen as a hero to millions because of this. Tony Stark, not able to do the job. Norman Osborn does the job. So what happens in the end? Norman Osborn gets all the glory. As a result of this, as a result of the whole fact that Tony Stark wasn't able to prevent this invasion, Tony Stark is no longer the head of the Avengers. He's no longer the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D. has been disbanded, renamed Hammer, a new organization, the Avengers are now led, believe it or not, by. This is where we begin, the Dark Avengers. If you haven't read Dark Avengers number one yet, I would suggest you go out and buy this. This is awesome. Number two is out now as well. Pretty cool storyline. Very neat to see the Avengers under the lead of Norman Osborn. So Norman Osborn pretty much runs the whole Superhuman Registration Act, all the affiliates, all the initiative, the Green Goblin, Norman Osborn, is in charge of everything. And naturally, this guy has his own agenda. And in his own agenda right now, he actually has a little Illuminati consortium, a little group that he pays favors to. Some of the members, the Red Hood, uh, Doctor Doom, Emma Frost, uh, the female Loki, um, these people are playing an important role right now as Norman is doing them favors as they do favors for him. So yeah, Norman Osborn in charge of the whole Marvel Universe right now. Pretty weird stuff. Definitely interesting. So, recap. Secret Invasion happens. The Skrulls try to take over, try to infiltrate, try to clone us, try to mimic us. In the end, they're drawn out. They're defeated. But the Queen is killed at the hands of Norman Osborn. So everybody in the world goes gaga over Norman Osborn. And Norman Osborn is now in charge of the entire Marvel Universe. It almost sounds like a what-if story. But it's not. It's the real deal. So yeah, that's it for Secret Invasion. A very condensed version of it. So uh, pick it up if you haven't. And if you haven't picked up uh, Dark Avengers, part of the Dark Reign in Marvel Comics right now, uh, please do. So until next time, guys, later.